Good evening and welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. You clicked on to long range weather forecast discussion for May 18th to the 26th. And five patterns forecast for next week after some relaxation of the flow. Little change in the thinking with the polar vortex exiting north northern Canada. This allows for a region to build over the over northwest Canada and southeast Canada. This allows for the development of a cutoff close low to form over the upper Midwest and move slowly eastward. So here is the um, the SREF spread and the weather prediction centers forecast. Now I'm going to clear the map and now we're going to look at the GFS. Here's where our cutoff low is supposed to be, form be forming. Generally, you have a trough here and a weak trough across this region here. Um, this is the NAM. Doesn't really show the cutoff flow there. Here's the Canadian, shows a cutoff flow. Here's the UK Met, also shows a cutoff flow. Here's the GFS mean, also shows a cutoff flow. And then we progress this forward. So within this pattern with the cutoff low, we expect the heaviest rains during this period to be near the slow moving low and frontal boundary through the Mississippi Valley. The ensembles are forecasting several inches across the area of the Mississippi Valley. As for temperatures, are expected to be above normal east of the cold front from the plains to the Appalachians. A front over the lower mid-Atlantic over the weekend, that's a front that's currently dropping through now, will have a tough time pushing north. The warm air eventually wins out and the cold front makes progress east. So now we're looking at the pattern for May 21st to the 25th and the miles are in agreement with the 500 millibar pattern for this period. A trough is forecast along the west coast, a ridge is forecast over the central states, and another trough is forecast of the eastern U.S. The Assembly Spaghetti charts are in, are more in line with the models in the west than in the east. So um, during this forecast period, they haven't really changed much since yesterday except for expansion here of the um, above normal temperatures here and expansion of below normal temperatures here. But generally the same above normal here, below, below, and below. For precipitation, forecasting below normal precipitation here, and above normal precipitation for this area. So now we're going to go further into the period. This is from May 26th to 30th, and the mod models and ensembles indicate an eastward shift of the pattern over the east. The ensembles are in good agreement with the trough along the west coast, a ridge over the plains, and a trough over the east. So during this forecast period, I'm forecasting below normal temperatures here and below normal temperatures across this region and above normal temperatures for this area. So that has been the long range weather forecast discussion for May 18th to the 26th. Thank you for coming, Jim, on this world of weather and have a good day.